Now give me the beat, boys, to free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Woohoo, drift away. Now give me the beat, boys, to free my... Oh, well, there you are again. Oh, you know what? I knew you were coming this time. Good morning, everybody. So nice to see you. We just got done with a wonderful story time from Miss Sarah. And, well, Mr. Brandon was just jamming with his banana in. I don't know. It's a beautiful day outside. Just trying to enjoy some music. I feel music in my soul. I just felt like a good, healthy uh, snack. And, uh, you know, it'd be pretty cool, you think, if we could combine... A snack with music, don't you think? Do you think there's a way to make that happen? You know, I bet I could turn this banana into a piano. A banano, if you will. You all want to find out how? Do you want to see Mr. Brandon turn this banana into a piano? I think it'd be pretty cool. Tell you what, I got a plan for you. Tell everybody. One o'clock today. Mr. Brandon's gonna go live and he's gonna show you the banana. We're gonna we're gonna mix music, science, and do a banana right here, and we're gonna see what we get. We're gonna makey makey at work. Oh, I hope I don't come up with a whole bunch of new puns. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna come up with a whole bunch of new puns. Well, I'm sorry. So, for those who missed earlier or miss the video that just happened about 40 seconds ago. <laughs> Mr. Brandon was thinking, how can he turn his little snacky snack, his morning fruits, apples, tangerines, and of course the banana, banana, nanners, the potassium givers. How can he make this an instrument? So I looked around, I went high, I went low, I went left, I went right, and I realized Makey Makey is the way to go. Now, what is Makey Makey? Now, Makey Makey is a little company made a while ago that wanted to make science fun for everybody and especially accessible for kids like you. Now, with the Makey Makey, let's see if I can get this right here. You have a cool little circuit board here that acts as like a controller. Doesn't it kind of look like those old Nintendo controllers? You have up, down, left, right. And then here it says click and start. But really you could think of those as like A and B. So you saw the circuit board there. That is what's gonna act as the controls for what we're gonna be doing with our piano here. Now the power source comes from Mr. Brandon's laptop, which you can see right here. All right, and he wants you to see the connections. You have the USB connection there going on and providing the initial power source to the Makey Makey circuit board. Now this here acts as the grounding wire, which Mr. Brandon has to hold to keep the closed circuit. Now, what I mentioned before but did not show, so this is good, I have a chance to show you this. You can connect these wires here into a banana and have this connecting part grab the wire instead of going directly in the, in the banana. That's good if you don't want to have to clean up right away your connecting wires, but Mr. Brandon has his sink right here and um, little moist towels to clean up everything safely. So he just put it right inside there in the banana. Now make sure anytime you're working on any kind of science project, even if it's something that's perfectly safe like Makey Makey, Make sure you're doing it with parents at home. That's very important. You want to have an adult with you that can make sure you're safe and that, you know, maybe you need a little help setting up. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, let's show you. Mr. Brand's going to go to makeymakey.com and he's going to go to the piano app. You can also just type in Makey Makey Piano on Google and it'll be the top link up there. And Mr. Brand can tell you the exact title apps apps .makey .com slash piano slash all right let's try this out have that right have that right make sure i got my sound oh let 
make sure I put it into a banana that's been properly connected. Perfect. I know you can't see that yet, but Mr. Brand's going to show you. Has to make sure all his wires are right. All right. Let's do this again. <laughs> all right. Y'all see Mr. Brand's piano right there? You see the nanners? I got my connecting piece and whew. And then whoop, orange needs to be connected. Let's get that back in. Hello, Moosey. And got it. Now, how cool is that? And you can see the little arrows on the piano keys. Those match up with the arrows and the symbols on the small Minky Minky circuit board. So, when you see up, down, left, right, that can work for something like a piano, but you could be playing a game like Super Mario Brothers. And you could be running across the map and jumping over the big gaps. And you could do that all with a banana or apples or really anything. The reason that these, you know, fruits here can carry that symbol, that one, Mr. Brandon wants to make sure he has this right for you here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hold on, I just wanna make sure I pronounce it correctly. That's right, it's because of the acid content in it, that acidic content, uh, the, uh, Citrus, citric acid there. It carries it through in a lot of these acidic fruits and I know when you hear acid you think oh like the stuff that like burns and you see in the movies and like the villains use and not, not the same way but you kind of have the idea are these fruits they have a little bit of this kind of specific type of material that's very conductive for electricity and we have ions in us sodium ions potassium ions they help keep the electricity too but your skin helps keep you safe from becoming too shocking. So we can't become uh, Thor or Lady Thor. Uh, no shooting electricity out of our fingers. Yeah, maybe we'll get there. Now, for that reason, and parents, you might find this cool. You ever notice in the winter when you wear gloves, you can't swipe on your phone? Try using a banana. Go on your phone screen and swipe with the banana. It works just like your finger would. How? Once again, because of that electrical, that minor electrical current that it can carry. And uh, you all know that you're always carrying a banana on you in the middle of the winter storm. So just use that when you need to get on your phone. You don't always have a banana with you? Hey, Mr. Brandon wants you to live your life how you want to live it. If you don't want to bring a banana with you everywhere you go, maybe a coconut, watermelon, that's okay. That's all right. Mr. Brandon wants everyone to live their life. Now, with all this going on here, you might be wondering, can I, you know, can I get zapped? I know you said my skin keeps me safe, but are you sure I can't get zapped? I want to tell you, I promise you, you can't get zapped. Now, while I, Mr. Brandon, goes out to schools and shows off all of these cool things going on, especially the Makey Makey, it is so fun when he offers the kids at school to Oh, go ahead, try and play the banana piano. They always think Mr. Brain's gonna zap them. I'm, I do not want to zap you. I would never zap you. I want you to have fun and laugh and smile. No zapping. And another important thing to know is with any of this information I presented to you, none of this ever comes off the top of the head, especially when it comes to things like science. As a librarian, a little secret for you to know is that we don't know everything. And no library professional should ever tell you they know anything. It's just not true. What our job is as information professionals, and that's right, besides the story times, the crafts, the activities, all the fun stuff we do, we're also information professionals. We're here for you. We're here for the parents if they have questions that they might not know the answer to, and we're always here for you. But our job is to be able to find the information or help you find that information from a source that you can trust, that is accurate, and that has been verified. Our library actually has numerous databases where you can get peer-reviewed articles on so many subjects and make sure you're getting 
accurate information. Now for my kiddos, you might be thinking, what does any of that mean? What it really means is that librarians and library staff want you to get honest and truthful information. And we care about that. We take that very seriously. We want to be honest with you and we want to make sure anything we're providing you is honest and full of integrity. And I hope you all know that, that we sincerely care about you all that way. Huh. Well, I think this was pretty cool. If you're interested in Makey Makey, you can go to makeymakey.com and check it out. Maybe you want one for yourself. And when we're back and open, you can come check it out with Mr. Brandon. We'll take a look at it and we'll have fun together. You can try out the banana piano in person. How cool would that be? That'd be so cool. All right. Okay, hold on. You got really excited there. Whew. Deep breaths. Okay, that's better. Stay tuned for more fun videos, more science and crafts. We're going to have more coming your way. My coworkers are going to be doing more. Mr. Brandon's going to be doing more. And uh, summer's coming, and I think we have some fun things planned for that. So, wow, that was a hilarious wink. Let me try that again. Summer's coming, and I think we'll have fun with that. I tried. All right. Love you all. Miss you all. Be safe. Be well. And I'll catch you later.